Hey guys, in the last video, we installed uh, SSL certificate from uh, Let's Encrypt and we installed it on our SPC. Now, uh, SBC, right, the SSL is signed, uh, the certificate is signed uh, by the Let's Encrypt provider. And now let's do one thing let's log in and do further required configuration for the teams to work, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, the SIP interface now and then um, what i'll do is i'll open this up and then uh, rename this to uh, maybe teams teams sip interface maybe and bring this up and let it be let it be the WAN interface because uh, the Teams interface side is going to be WAN and uh, on the TLS port what we are going to do is we are going to make it as 5067 uh, or maybe let's do one thing let's make it 5061 because 5061 will use it for uh, the you know uh, SBC secure port now in the context here what we are going to do is we are going to keep it as default and TLS mutual authentication will enable it and after we enable this uh, we'll leave uh, most of the things as default and click on apply so likewise what we are going to do is we are going to create uh, another interface uh, which is going to be your uh, interface towards your call manager cucm sip interface and bring this to down and then uh, we choose this as LAN because uh, call manager is in, in our local premise and uh, TCP port I'll make it as zero TLS is zero because we are not going to use secure over there and then finally what we are going to do is we are going to make this apply these changes and save right so once we do that then what we'll do is we'll set up the media realm and we'll use the default realm and change it to teams probably or maybe i'll make it as teams mr media realm all right and i'll put this to topology up and associate this to wan interface and then i'm going to make it as a number of session like let it be default i'm not going to touch that and apply this now i'm going to make another one as a cuc media realm so it's cuc media realm and the topology is going to be down and it is going to be a lan interface and udp i'll say let's say it starts from uh 7000 and now i will save this configuration so once this configuration is set then what we'll do is we'll uh, configure the proxy here i'll use a default one i'll name it to teams proxy set and then associate with the teams interface which is there already default and use the tlx context name so which we have signed the certificate right so we'll use the same uh, tlx context name and now on the proxy hot we'll make it as enable and load balancing will make it as random widths and in the proxy keep alive we'll enable it to use options and then we'll apply this configuration here so once you do that we have to come here in the proxy item and then click on zero and then what we'll do is we'll uh, make it to um, sip.pstn hub.microsoft.com colon 5061 and in the transport type it should be tls and then um, in the pro proxy weight i'm going to make it with one and random weight i'm going to make it one now i'm going to put another one in this i'll name it as sip 2.pstn hub dot microsoft dot com 5061 
and then I'm going to make the transport type as uh, uh, TLS and then uh, priority as 2 and then apply uh, okay uh, it says like invalid with priority sequence okay I, I think I should be naming to uh, random weight as 1 now I'll put another one and then sip 3 dot PSTN PSTN hub dot Microsoft dot com column five zero six one and use this as TLS and priority should be three and render bit should be one. So now we have created this three um, uh, inter uh, proxy sets here. Uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create another proxy set uh, which is going to be call manager proxy set so I'll name it as cocm proxy set and assign this with cocm IP interface here we'll keep the options keep live as options using options and then uh, most of the things I'm going to keep it as default and here in case of uh, proxy address I'm going to make it as uh, 172.16.0.160 I think uh, 160 is my call manager IP address I'll revalidate, revalidate this later and then uh, I'm going to put this as a 0 and 0 because we don't have multiple call manager uh, in our uh, system or in our infrastructure uh, for the testing purpose right so we'll put it only one I also remember like we have to install uh, certificates uh, from Baltimore uh, certificate so let me download that and then let's install that as well so i'm going to i have logged into this uh, digicert.com and then there is uh, something like digicert root certificates you will find so here is something like multi more uh, cyber trust root certificate which is valid until uh, 12th may 2025 so this looks to be okay so i'm going to you know upload the multi more certificate uh, on the uh, SBC so I'll go to the uh, IP network choose context here and in the trusted root certificate I'll click on this and then import so once you import right uh, you have to go to this particular folder where you have downloaded the particular uh, cyber trust certificate and open this so once you open this the file successfully loaded click on save and once you're done with this save this right and once you're done with this go to the monitor and once you go to the monitor you have to go to the proxy set and if you notice here right uh, the status of the microsoft uh, uh, three urls like pst and hub right they are online as soon as we you you know inserted the multi-mode certificate and also you know enable this status certificate on this sbc right so now if you notice here the call manager is showing us offline because the call manager is turned off at this moment but what we have to worry about is this right so if you look at this uh, this shows us online so which is a good sign so let's go to the direct routing and see if there is any change on the um, admins portal so if you notice here the admin portal uh, this is still you know TLS connectivity still says as inactive and it is not uh, properly communicating to our SBC and the reason why it is not able to kind of communicate to the SBC is because we have to uh, allow this 5061 port number so if you notice here right so we are saying like uh, 5061 is the signaling port right so we have to allow this 5061 port number uh, to uh, or uh, enable this port number or port forwarding on our router so that whenever the traffic comes for 5061 right and uh, it is able to you know uh, talk to uh, the SBC let me enable that right now okay I have enabled uh, 5061 port number um, uh, on my router DD call uh, you know port forwarding so let's give it some time so uh, once uh, we'll give it some time so I think this should be up by then 
in the meanwhile what we can do is we can uh, proceed with a remaining configuration so what we can do is uh, we'll configure the remaining stuff so let's go back to our uh, is, uh, audio codes so i'll go to uh, setup signaling and media and let's do the configuration uh, related to uh, the code group right so we'll allow g711 ulo and g711 elo and apply and then save this and once we apply this configuration then what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the um, SIP definition over here and go to the message um, condition sorry here message condition over here under message manipulation and click on new and we'll name it as teams contact and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to you know copy the uh, you know um, condition from one of the url so this is the article which i written long back when i did the integration uh, between uh, teams direct routing with cucm and audio codes sbc right uh, so let me see if the article is if uh, we are able to you know see it here the message condition so we'll go down further down let me search for this yeah we have this condition configured here we'll copy this condition and we'll paste it over here and we'll ap apply okay cross validation header url let me revalidate this let me put it in the editor so the reason why it is coming as invalid because of the comma over here inverted comma okay let's save this now apply this so it is uh, working now so after this is done right what we are going to do is we are going to the ip groups here and use the default one and make it as teams it's going to be a uh, teams ip group and the topology location is going to be up and then uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave most of the settings for now as default and then i will apply this configuration now um let's create ip profile over here and i'll name this ip as a teams ip profile and then um, use a uh, sbc sec media security mode is secured and then come down what i'll do is i'll uh, update this zip update to not supported and re-invite to supported only with stp and remote delayed offer should be not supported and then i will come down and change remote early media rtp detection by media and then extension coder group i'm going to change it to audio codes and then i'll come down and change this ice mode to light and apply so this is what the ip profile looks like for teams let's create the ip profile for cucm ip profile and then i am going to make it as not secured and then PSF identities I will change it to add and then 
एस बी सी फॉर ट्रांसफर आर मेक इट टू हैंडल लोकली रिमोट इज ऑल्सो हैंडल लोकली एंड रिमोट इज ऑल्सो हैंडल लोकली सो रेफर रिप्लेस एंड थ्री एक्स एक्स शुड आई मेक इट टू हैंडल लोकली एंड देन अप्लाई सो वंस दिस इज टर्न I will go to the IP groups and then I think I forgot to associate some of the parameters so let me associate them right now for example IP profile which I just created so I'll associate the IP profile and then teams media realm is something I'm going to associate right now and then in the sub group name I'll associate as SBC uh sbc dot uc collaboration dot online and then proxy keep live using ip group enable then will come down local host name will put the same thing and then we will go down use source addresses yes and then we'll go down and apply the configuration later on what we have to do is we have to put this message manipulation uh, and adjust the message manipulation later on once we create the message manipulation configuration now let's do the same configuration for um uh, so ucm ip group then here i'm going to make it as down server in the proxy i'm going to use ucm and ip profile so ucm ip profile and media realm so ucm media realm is what i'm going to make it as and then sbc group name i'm going to keep it as sbc dot uc collaboration dot online and then if i scroll down i'll leave everything as default now what i'll do is i'll come to the classification over here and in the classification i'll click on add new and here i'm going to make it as teams classification and i'll select the teams interface and i'll enter the teams ip address which is uh, 52.104. dot star dot star so that's going to be the uh, ip address with the wildcard mask and destination host i'm going to make it as and in the condition i am going to choose teams contact and allow source ip group and here i am going to choose a teams ip group and then i will apply this configuration okay so this is about the classification now what i'll do is i'll configure ip to ip routing click on new i'll enable terminate option spin okay and then i will do one thing i'll come here in all i'll make it as options and come down it looks okay and then on the destination zip interface what i'm going to choose is uh, first let me choose this as destination address in the destination type and in the destination address what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this internal and apply this configuration all right next is i'm going to configure teams refer and then i will choose the re this to request uri 
and destination IP group as Teams IP group and then uh, I'll go down in the call trigger I'll make it as refer and apply so once this is done I will create another policy so which is going to be Teams to CUCM so basically we are uh, routing the calls over here from Teams to CUCM and it's going to be IP and in the destination IP group it is going to be CUCM IP group and in the source IP group it is going to be Teams so from Teams to call manager how you are routing the call so once you do this so now next thing is what you have to do is we have to make it CUCM to Teams now once you do this here you have to select the source group as CUCM and the destination IP group you have to select it as Teams and remaining settings will leave it as default so these are the four things that we have created now what we'll do is we'll go to the manipulation and SBC settings and SBC uh, configuration what we'll do is we'll allow this SBC performance profile optimized for transcoding save so once you save this so we have to add some of the man manipulation right now so what we have to do is we have to go to the message manipulation which is uh, here not here actually it's under yeah here message manipulation go to new now we have to add some of the uh, um, configuration here so i'll go to my blog again and put the configuration uh, from there so the configuration will be so these are the IP to IP routing, uh, these are the message manipulation which you have to create. So first is remove PAI and then here you need to, you know, change it to hheader.p asserted identity. So let me see if this particular um, manipulation, if I have copied somewhere, I'll go up. Uh, okay i think i have to manually enter this i have not copied the text so i'll copy it as uh, header dot p hyphen identity sorry it's typo here so i'll put it here next thing is i have to remove and then uh, i will message manipulation set i'll make it as one save this next what i'm going to do is next i have to create uh, another change ruri host to cucm and here i have to put it as header dot request hyphen url dot host put it here and then i have to choose this modify and then i have to paste the value as message dot address ip and then any dot request here okay it's in uh, ss type and then manipulation set will put it as four okay looks like uh, we have to check why it is not working modify it says invalid subject looks like we have some issue with the header okay it's a typo here r-e-q-u-e-s-t uh, let me validate it again h-e-a-d-e-r dot r-e-q-u-e-s-t hyphen 
यू आर आई डॉट यू आर एल डॉट होस्ट इट्स करेक्ट ओके दिस डेटा इज करेक्ट बट ओके इन द मेस एक्शन वैल्यू इट्स इन वैलिड मैसेज लुक्स लाइक माई कीबोर्ड हैज सम प्रॉब्लम वेन एवर आई एम टाइपिंग इट इट्स नॉट टेकिंग फुल लेटर्स सो दैट इज द रीजन वाई सम ऑफ द कीज आर मिस्ड राइट सो दिस इज ऑल्सो डन नाउ विल एट द दिस वन हेड डॉट प्राइवेसी सो कम हियर हेड डॉट प्राइवेसी remove we'll remove this and then here we have to make it as I'll paste this in the condition and uh, remove privacy header. I'll make it as remove privacy header and make it as four. Uh, let me check in the previous also. Okay, previous also I made it as four. Now I will remove history info. Is something I have to make. remove his string for and here i have to make it as header dot dot one paste it here remove and here Put it in the condition and set ID will make it as four, and the rest of the things remain same. Okay, so we have um, done most of the configuration here, whatever we were supposed to. Now let's add the further configuration. I will go to the audio codes and go to the IP groups. and open <clears throat> the cucm group and outbound message will change it to uh, i think it should be 4 okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do further configuration i'll go further down to media and then media security it is disabled i'll enable the security here apply and then save the configuration yes and then let's do the netting related configuration because right now my system uh which is uh, hiding behind it net right so i have got a public ip address but i have not assigned this public ip address to audio codes so uh let me do the netting uh, um on my on the audio codes right so <clears throat> i'll go to the network over here and then what i have to do is i will check the media realm uh, what are the in the signaling and media i'll check the media realm so in case of wan right we are allowing this port like starting from 6000 to and the end port is 65531 so we can have only session let's say 100 only uh, 100 sessions right so we don't have to allow this many uh, udp port range so we are allowing from 6000 to 6399 so what we have to do is we have to do this configuration uh, on the netting so that uh, we allow only this particular uh, you know start and end port so i am going to go to the network net translation click on new and here i'm going to select as wan and our source port is 5061 and 
5061 is what we are accepting and then um, the target address is going to be uh, my uh, public IP address of uh, my server so my public IP address is what this copy this and target IP address is going to be this okay now I think that should be one of the thing and next thing what we have to do is we have to add another port which is going to be uh, when again and from 6000 to 6000 I think 300 sessions we allowed right 6399 and here we have to put the same IP address and then we have to apply this configuration so this is something two type of rules that we have allowed on the net and now we have to save this configuration and after you save this configuration you have to restart your device so i'll go ahead and reset the device so it will take another um, i mean at least a couple of minutes to come up in the meanwhile i'll just verify the status here what the status looks like the status is uh, still uh, i mean if you look at the status so sip options warning message is still there and the network is uh, still you know zero percent so we'll wait for this audio codes device to come up and then we'll check the status after that okay the server has come up let's log in okay so this looks to be fine let's see the status from the microsoft teams so the tls connectivity is still down we have most of the configuration done here uh, so what i'm going to do is um, basically i'm going to you know uh, download one of the tool uh, which is uh, asyslog server from Oricodes, and i'm going to use that uh, software to see if the option springs are coming from um, the sbc or not uh, or from the microsoft teams or not so the configuration is almost done on the body code side but we'll have to verify if the option pings are coming or not let's do that in the next video all right thank you for watching